is sarcastic. This is sarcastic. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Tequila and Champagne podcast with your favorite host, Shayla Ron, and my co host, Pablo. Say what's up, Tom. Yo, 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 what up, though? What up, though? It's the boy, Pod Skiff, Pod Boss, all that good stuff. It's me, Pablo. I'm here for another episode. And I'm nervous. <laughs> Why are you nervous? You nervous because we got a special guest? Yeah, absolutely. The, okay. the specialist of the special guests. Go ahead and introduce our special guest, Light Skin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Say what's up to him, Megan. Uh, it is me. I'm Megan Better from the Better Life uh, podcast or from Real Life, if you you know see me around. Um, I'm just grateful to be here. I'm happy to be here. Excited. I'm not drinking tonight, so that just means I need to come back for another show so I can really get into it and get in the sauce with y'all. I'm a tequila silver, silver drinker. We'll argue about that later. Uh, Pablo and I have already argued about it. I, it's just gonna be silver, but I'm happy to be here. Like I said, excited, nervous as well, but it's, it's gonna be good. I don't get it. Like, why y'all nervous? First of all, no, she's bougie. Smart. She's no, bougie. No, smart. Okay. Like, I'm smart, but not Tequila smart. silver is for bougie folks, all right? Sometimes <laughs> you, just got, you gotta get that gold in you. That's all I'm saying. Get that gold in your body. <laughs> no, no, for real. That's my favorite. <laughs> but I'm, not, I'm not opposed to silver because I definitely drank silver over the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> See? My, you had a good time? I, I had, had, a, a, had a great time. I had a great time. I mean, I was dressed to go to the strip club, but still, I had a good time. So, so Megan, I, I, I have a question for you. How, how does it feel to be famous? I'm not famous. Bruh, like... I'm a regular girl. I'll tell you that. I'm very... No, no, no. no. L- literally, your name or you being referenced on every single show on the network. How do you feel about <laughs> that? I feel like good people... You don't, like, it speaks for itself. A good reputation speaks for itself. I don't... So I'm mm. just appreciative to be in the room, be on y'all's lips. I'm not saying pause ever. So like, I'm hey, we don't like, we don't play pause over here. We, if you yeah, if you, yeah. you want to be on the lips, you can yeah, be on the let lips. Everything happen where I'm at. Everything happens. But yeah, I'm just grateful to be on people's lips on their minds that y'all like, you know, speak about me. So I think it's fun. I like I always get tickled like and giggle a bit whenever I hear myself come up. Whether y'all are alluding to me or saying my name directly. Yeah, some some people are scared. Oh, it's you. Say you you light skin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's you. Oh, that was me. Yeah, okay. you're definitely light skin. Because he's yeah. light skin, so I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, every time we say light skin, it's definitely you. So I've been trying to get away from like colorism stuff and. Okay. Yeah, but you still light skin. That's cool. I'm getting brown skin. I'm getting there. Yeah, you getting there? Honey, yeah, you almost went deep. So. Yeah, right. Yeah, we almost had a whole new topic, right? <laughs> I was about to let you have it. I didn't know what to do. Um, I'll come back and drink, and we'll talk about colorism while I'm drunk and get people upset. Definitely while drunk. Okay. Are, we, are, we, are we doing that? That's the thing. Yeah, because you never drink on your. You know what? This recording, I'm not going to do that to you. Okay. <laughs> I already think you should drink every episode with you. Do what to him. Do it. No, she wants. <laughs> she wants us to drink every episode. And I do want to drink like every episode, but I know that you don't be wanting to drink every episode, and I be fucked up by myself sometimes. And that's not fair. You leave her out there like that. Okay. So, so after well, we can't do that for the the ex episode. Uh, uh, that's not gonna happen. Why not? Uh, you I, mean, I would have y'all. We're gonna talk about this address because y'all. Yeah, are crazy. yeah, you crazy. Uh, you wall, think that's, that's gonna happen? That no, y'all are crazy for doing the episode. Period. It's her idea. Yeah, that's she's the brain. Again. You must have good exes, because I don't. And it's just, <laughs> no, like, she does it. That's what I'm talking about. She's the brain. I'm the muscle. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they are. It got to be a good one. I can't wait. I'm like, oh, how's it going to go down? Like, yeah. But, um. I'll be scared. So, other than the ex episode, I can have a cup of something with you. All right? I'll sip on something with you. Tequila or champagne? <laughs> Oh. I'll buy a bottle of tequila. There we go. Because when you put them both in the same cup. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I really never mind. Don't do that. Because you don't drink that much, so I wouldn't recommend it to you. If it's just a cup of tequila uh, and champagne, you mean? Yeah, a cup is fine. Bro, I told you I had that night. I was just like, oh my God. And like I was just all I'm drinking, period. Like 
This is it. I, there's, I don't know why I haven't drank before. I don't know why it took like I, y'all, y'all are late getting into my life. But I was like, wow, this is so much better together. I know. So, <laughs> no, but like a cup, like a cup of, of something after work is fine. It's not like I'm, I'm guzzling a whole bottle after work. So, ain't nobody telling you to do that. I'm just yeah, one, it's once a week. I'm sipping on a cup. I got you. Double cup Pablo's back. We here. Let's go. Pablo. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm with that. She okay, so listen. <laughs> I I am a little a lot actually. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. So today's episode is definitely about planets and our interpretations. <laughs> stars and uh, stars. I mean, we know our souls. Like, what do y'all? What do y'all know about planets? First of all, in our solar system, do you understand like the different energies that they give off, like on an astrological level, or you just know they there? Oh shit, that's what we doing? I said, yeah, that's what we're okay. doing. Okay, um, I know they're there. Um, mm-hmm. I know, I know there's eight, and then sometimes nine, depending on how <laughs> white folks feel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pluto counts, y'all. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All planets matter. That's all I'm saying. All planets matter. Um, I know stars, you can see them. But sometimes they're not there. You know? I know the sun be wilding. And that's just about it. Oh, and the moon. The moon makes waves and shit. Yeah, yeah. The moon definitely controls the tides. Yeah, because I, <laughs> I, lived, I lived in Hawaii. So the moon, the moon makes waves and shit. That's how they surfed off the tides. So. Exactly. What about you, Megan? Like, so part of me still believes that, like, it's just a big-ass projector. Like, I don't know what's really going on. Like, the the sun and moon is just a big-ass projector, and they'd be like, all right, next. And the sun up, they'd be like, next Sunday, it'd be the moon. And I'm like, yeah, do you think this is playing? I don't know what y'all really got going on, but that, like, a good, like, 30% of me thinks that. I do believe the Earth is round, so I'm not with them other flat Earther people. Mm. But as far as, like, the 70% of me that thinks there are planets, I'm like, what are what are y'all niggas doing? Like, why are y'all trying to go there? Like, why now? Because I think I there's only like one other planet outside of our. Anyways, we'll get to that later. But I think Mercury be fucking things up too much. Like Mercury be doing too much. The retrograde as a whole planet, like it gotta go. Um, I don't know what like Uranus is really here for. It gives like mosquito vibes. What is your purpose? You don't have what Jupiter no shit on the planet, dog. Uranus yeah. is my. Uranus yeah. is Aquarius' ruling planet. Like I know that motherfucker. It's probably in my chart. She disrespecting us early. That's okay. Hey, it's probably in my chart. But like Jupiter, I'm here for Saturn with the rings. Yes, um, the sun is definitely gonna die on us because it's just a big star. So like I don't know when that's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. Um, and I think the moon is. Pro- I think the moon is bigger than what they say it is. I mm. that. So you believe? There's no way you can the control moon? the tides like that. You can't like. There's just no way the size of it can control all of that, like, magnetically and then with the tides and, like, other stuff with ODB, like, without it having some sort of gravitational pull, like, almost equal to, if not equal to, the Earth. Because, like, it, I don't know, it just... Mm. 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 So the moon is not why we have gravity? Well, there's gravity in the Earth, but I think, like, I think they just try to downplay the moon's purpose. Like, they'd be like, oh, it's just a moon. Like, it's not that serious. It's little... It just looks big, and I'm like, no, dog, that shit probably is big. Like, is y'all are like, because I think it's smaller than Earth, isn't it? Don't they say it's smaller than Earth? Yeah. I don't think it is. I think oh. they just tell us that. No. Oh. Because apparently the sun is massive, but like, yeah, it's the same size as the moon sometimes. So like, how you explain the eclipse? Like, I mean, I know it's distance, but I'm like, nah. Distance can't be that perfect that it lines up and blocks so completely either eclipse style like. Well, Sky Mama, you know she's undefeated, <laughs> yeah. and Sky Mama said that these niggas gonna be right here, so that's where we at with it. Not Sky Mama. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, it's interesting perception. <laughs> not like, you know what I'm saying? Um, not at all. Um, I definitely think different, but share. You're supposed to share. Oh, she shared. <laughs> That's the warm up. That was the oh, warm up. Oh, share. excuse me, sorry. Mm. Uh, science in so many ways will explain to you that the sun and the moon is not the same size. 
Um, and also that the moon is smaller than the Earth because of the way that it was formed around planet Earth. It's big, yeah, only because it's right there. The sun is big as fuck, but it just, it looks as close as the moon is, but it's not. It's actually further away. So it's got to be much bigger, right? If they're pulling up, looking at the same size. Um, it, hold on. It, That's it, how I know God is a black woman, because all about angles. That was the idea. <laughs> you just did perception, right? There. Boom, angles. That's how I know God's nah, a black it, woman. Shout out to Scott. Yeah. Let's go. No, nah, I mean, if you just, if you like, if you read up a little bit more on like how moon is formed, it'll make more sense. And I kind of wonder like why planet Earth don't have more moons. You know what I'm saying? Like other planets do. There's other planets that got like five or six moons. Mm-hmm. But speaking of other planets, now that we understand our solar system and, you know, Who's there? Um, I, I think we uh, had other moons at one point. I think that's my thought process. I think they got rid of them shit. Yeah, that I, was I, that, I, I can read like like those hours. like those meteors that 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 just swing past Earth. I think they hit some of the bitches. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That They're just like, swing you know, past. Yeah, you know I mean, because you know, because you know, like every five six years, you know, white folks be like, "Oh my God, we're gonna die." Meteors coming, and then it's like, no. "Oh, it just missed us." I think yeah. them shits. Hit some shit, you know. I mean, some, some meteors, meteors that hit. They didn't. Def, they didn't. Def, it's some meteors that definitely. No, hit. no, no, I'm talking about the ones. They be like, this is the deaf. This is the deaf meteor. So the one that oh, just happened, like, like the one that there's one that just mm, a couple months ago here we could see it. You know what I'm saying, yeah, it, it barely, it barely missed us. I, I think some of them shits hit some of the moons that we used to have. I think it's frag. It's fragments way of back moons. when. Yeah. All the asteroids just fragments of moons they destroy up there. That's it. The aliens are I like mean, that, oh. if, if you go deeper, it definitely makes sense. Then that mm-hmm. means that we've definitely had a different Earth a few times. Same rock, but just yep. a different Earth a few yep. times. Man. Exactly. But, yeah. Okay. I don't know how fucking deep y'all want to go because I will jump down that rabbit hole. You know, um, I'm there. you know, I'm there with you. What I what I, what I want to ask y'all about, <laughs> what I want to ask y'all about is um. Like, what is y'all knowledge on exoplanets? Like, do you know what it is? Have you ever heard of it before? To be to be real with you, um, I did not, <laughs> I have not heard of the term exoplanet until about four or five days ago when we had a conversation. <laughs> 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 but I knew of other planets. I just didn't know the term for those other planets. So. What about you, Sam? Yeah, like I knew I I I was just not stupid enough to assume that like it's just us, like it's just our soul system. We the shit. I was like, right. Oh, and what they say about space is true. Like we just like poof, like we here, but like there's all kinds of poof we hear everywhere else, which there is. That's, that's true. I don't. I definitely don't feel like we by ourselves. That's what made me like, you know, read more into it. So I've been really like reading up on exoplanets for a long time. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You trying to move? Oh, she been trying to move. You trying to move? You gonna leave? Her? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I def- I definitely want to go to another planet. But okay, so this is what this is what got me. So I was reading up on Venus, right? Um, and and there's volcanoes on Venus. Like it's hot as hell over there, right? <clears throat> and then they was talking about like the clouds and like what's in the clouds, and they said that phosphine is in the clouds, right? But phosphine is also found in plants, animals, and humans, mm. right? So I know I was high, but then I was thinking like, oh, shit, the clouds on Venus are alive, right? Yep. Because if, if phosphine is made up of little tiny microorganisms, then it's in the clouds on Venus, yep. okay? I took out so hard, I had to throw my phone. I imagine like <laughs> a cloud like chasing me with a knife. Like, this motherfucker <laughs> alive and he a killer, like. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe Venus is not the planet for me. So you didn't they me? say women are from Venus? They say that. See what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all volatile. See what I'm saying? Y'all volatile. That's just this proof not, right there. No, that's not whoa. Chasing that's people not. with knives and shit. Like, come on now. Volcanoes. Just nothing but volcanoes. I just say maybe the good. volcanoes are orgasms. Oh, that's what that is? That's oh, a good one. Just shut like, me the hell up. Huh? See, that's why I want to be on here. Just want to shut yeah. me the hell up. Why? <laughs> I got my two. I, I got my two all stars on here, and, and, and you know I don't feel right. Uh, what did what did you look up about it? I looked up that uh, 
we spent a dumbass amount of money on this big ass telescope, and that's all it does is look for other shit. Um, <laughs> I found out uh, there's an Earth two and an Earth three. Um, they talking about they don't know it's anything on there, but it has the same shit. It's just a little bit bigger than what we have here, but it's literally the same fucking planet. So I don't know who they trying to play. There's somebody there chilling. He on the beach looking up like, hey, there's somebody out there. But um, I also seen some other shit. It's like a big ass, like a bunch of Jupiters hanging out. You know what I mean? You can't see shit. It's a bunch of Jupiters hanging yeah, it's like out. big junior Jupiters, little Jupiters, but they don't call them that shit. They call them like KB, whatever, whatever. Oh, yeah. 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 See, y'all been studying? I study. Okay. All those planets, they alive. One is, is habitable. That's Earth. That's Earth two. No, that, that Earth two is, is wild. Earth two really has like good water, air, <laughs> all that shit. You know what I mean? Then you know. Got a sun. Exactly, okay. and that shit, and the sun like is smaller than our sun. So they said it's like it's almost like um Hawaii. Like you know how the temperature in Hawaii stays like 75, 70? That's how Earth two is. All the time. Okay. Uh-huh. You know what okay. I mean? and then, then they have other they planets. Yet. That's why. <laughs> huh? Ain't got no people on the edge. The fuck exactly. It up. That's yeah. And then uh, the other planets, they said there's some that's uh, habitable, but it doesn't rotate around the, their sun. It just sits there. So only one half of the planet has light. The other half is just dark all the fucking time. So, yeah, I, I was looking up some shit. I'm thinking, like, would I mind that, though? Look at you. Like, now, what if you one of them niggas in the dark and they all like creepy and shit and bitter because they sitting in the dark no, all goddamn day? You know, I wasn't thinking about living permanently. Like you could vacation. Like I really need to nap. I need to really like relax for a week or two. I'm gonna go to the dark side. It's dark. I'm gonna relax. So it's gonna, gonna be a hustler that. out there who makes a resort on the dark side. Like yeah, to- you can only come here if you come into one of my resorts. But yeah, because mm. okay. that's the darkness dark here. Going on. Huh? It's gotta be some shit going on. If half yeah. the planet. And the other half dark, it's gotta be some shit going it on. Has like, to that'll be. Be over and how many moons does this planet have? You feel what I'm saying? And then right. like without sunlight and all that shit, I'm thinking about the waves and them mm-hmm. crash and how far they fucking going and all of exactly. that shit. Like I'm looking at the motherfucking storms and shit that's going on on this motherfucker because half this bitch is black and half this bitch is lit. Like that's all like, I'm saying. saying this little too. Yep. Like there's, there's got to be some other things. Like this is this is not normal. It just for, is like magnifying for, 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 on like an ant, yeah. like it's burning, like because it like oh, it got to burn at one point. Like how it's just the sun is just straight, like it's because something got to yeah. be scorched. Yeah. That, that can't be right. And then where is it? Like it didn't say where. It just said it's outside of our solar system. And it said there's planets in our solar system. We just can't get to it. Like, but the like there's, like, there's planets there's, orbit our solar system. There's exoplanets that orbit planet Earth. Mm-hmm. They saying that uh, this planet is like just only 124 light years away, which is That's a lot not, of years. But right, but it's not. But in the the you know the grand scheme of it all, that's not far. Niggas can so really it's get in there. Galaxy. It's but past, if it orbits it's, us, it's past is it Pluto. Really? The nigga Pluto orbits, right there. No, but if it orbits Earth, it gotta be in ours because it otherwise it ha- it either orbits our solar system, but if it's only orbiting Earth, like. Nah, that gotta be like in the shit. That that someone gotta make it make sense. To me. Yeah. So it's some shit called I can't pronounce it. It's like G L I E S E five eight one C. Yeah. Right. They said that's that okay. is that's super Earth. That's Earth two. They said it's just like us, but bigger. And it's and it's in our galaxy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. So it's five times the size of Earth. But but it has the same air, the same water. It got like the temperature shit. for water. Mm-hmm. So the only way I can explain that is that when you look up in the sky and you see stars, like you should really see more than you see in because there's yep. a lot of planets that are covering those stars. So mm-hmm. for every star that you see, imagine that there's a planet attached to it because it is. Now our our star, the sun that we call it, you know what I'm saying, got us nine. You feel me? In this same galaxy, somewhere else, there's another solar system with a sun 
and maybe one or two planets, and then another star that has like for every fucking star there's a planet. So if you if they say it's a hundred billion stars here, it's mm-hmm. hundred billion. Yep. There's other there. niggas. There's other niggas. I was thinking other niggas because I I sit around. I'd be like, this is <laughs> this is basic. Mm-hmm. Okay, like this is so like this ain't it, and I know that this ain't it. So everything here looks basic. Now I don't doubt that it ain't planets that's dumber than us. You know what I'm saying? They got civilizations that's dumber than us, and I don't doubt that there's some that got some that's smarter than us. You feel me? But like to believe that that just this is it, like you slow. I'm sorry. <laughs> you you so slow. And if if. Neptune is a money planet and Venus is a love planet. You know what I'm saying? And what do what do these exoplanets give off? Like what kind of energy do they give off? You right. know what I'm saying? Like the way everybody hate Mercury retrograde when it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? Like what if there's other planets that give off like manic, you know what I'm saying, type of behaviors? So now I'm trying to think of more, <laughs> I'm trying to think of more like psychological standpoint, yeah. you know? And, and like, what does Earth do to that energy when it receives it? You feel mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they also, so the exoplanets, the, literally, they're, they're just sitting in there, just like Shay said. But there's also there's a, a rim that's called the uh, Goldilocks zone or the inhabitable zone. So they can, I mean, the, it's cool for them niggas to be in that that part, like the heat, yeah. the coldness is. So yeah, they got one right here called Trappist. I just like the name, so I just pulled it Trappist. up. Trappist. Yep, that's my nigga. Um, it's a bunch of mountains though. It's just a bunch of mountains and gaseous water. Yeah. So so I'm thinking at one point that shit used to be a cool ass place to be. Some shit happened. Yeah, it's giving like tropical waterfall vibes. Yeah, it, it's giving me like Hawaii, Fiji, Fiji yeah. that type of shit. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking in my head. Mm-hmm. So you think their star died? Yeah. I mean, like the it may not have died itself, but maybe that their star died. What if like their version of people killed it? Like, what if all the planets yeah. were just like the left? So they had a, a, like a the ultra other... cool star. That's what they called it, an ultra cool star. And now it's not there no more. It's a dwarf star. So like, oh so, yeah, it's dwarf or white. And it's not that far. It's only thirty nine light years away. Mm-hmm. We can How get fast? there. Does a spaceship go? Because like I feel like they line. I feel like they line up with a lot of stuff. That's just personally how I feel. Like they tell us, like they giving us tidbits, but like you figured that out fifty years ago. Like cute, because I'm like they're like light years are far, and I'm like no, but how fast? And I don't think they can measure it, but I'm like you niggas are getting there. Like I know that y'all not telling nobody, but yeah, they can definitely go fast as fuck. It just depends on like how much fuel they have and how quickly it burn out and how much they can hold and you know so. seventeen thousand miles per hour. That's 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 fast as fuck. I'm trying to <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm just like <laughs> Oh, I was I was shit. Okay. Oh, yeah, you need that damn, put a rocket on it. <laughs> Imagine, because I'd be like, ooh, take off seems fast in the plane, but damn. But that's insane. Like just that's, that's true, so can you feel it? It may be yeah. really the difference. I'd be scared of shit we run out of fuel. Imagine I'm going that fast. That's then, why like, they have run out of fuel now you stuck. No, that's why there's, no. There's, there's, there's a space shuttle literally in uh, in space just chilling. The, 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 uh, Cause I follow them niggas, the ISS gen joint. They just literally sit up there. So they have so the, the gas to get up there, then they fuel up again, and then they go around the fucking Earth. That's the, that's the whole yeah. shit. So The ISS? Mm-hmm. International Space Station. Mm. I mean, yeah, like that's... That. that's- that's what they be doing. That's exactly what they do. They take off, they refill up there, and then take off again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I feel like I want, like I want to see it, but I'm scared. Like once I get there, I feel like I'll be okay. But like I'm scared to get there, but like I want to go there. So like I'm gonna go there, but like very much like oh no, I don't want to see it. Like wait till we get there. But I, I just don't want to get stuck somewhere yet. Like I, I don't want to get stuck. I want it to be a round trip kind of thing. Like. Girl, I don't want to um, be. I don't want to be in space like that man. Like he just went up and was like, "Ooh, I breached the atmosphere. Goodbye." No, I'm trying to be in the dark, floating for real. Like, well, I'm trying to be in the dark with number stars, and then come back in. Trying to go to the moon and back. Yeah, 
Yes, I would like to do that. Like, the moon, I'm so scared because it's dark and, like, they explored all parts of the moon. I'm like, I don't know what's up there, but... It's so you think you think you think somebody went to the moon? You know, there's a lot of people that don't think that really happened. They think the first one didn't happen, which I'm like, I don't think the technology is that <laughs> we, great we to CGI back. it. But you never seen the uh, the Kraft cheese commercial? They said America went up to the moon in in the 60s. Yeah, found out wasn't. Question. They said it wasn't made of cheese, so we never went back. That was the whole gimmick of the commercial. White people, mm-hmm. no, okay. no. But no, didn't the Russians go first and then the Americans? No, they, they, anyway. they made it too space. Yeah. We didn't get. They didn't get to the moon. Yeah, it says who Americans? Yep. Y'all said a lot of shit too. Y'all are reading stuff with a textbook, so I can't trust that. I don't. Mm. So I don't trust that. I need an I independent don't. source. <laughs> if this, if this, if the space shuttle k- keeps a constant speed, it'll take fifty years to do fifty light years. But it has to be constant and it has to stay fueled. That doesn't sound right. It, it, it did the fucking math right here. I don't know. Yeah, but, but oh my God, 50 years <laughs> is not 50 light. It, it said like it keeps the constant years. speed of how it travels. The 17,000 oh. change. If oh, it keeps okay. that speed, 50 years. Oh, okay. Because I was so, like, dude, what? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sure. So, me so and Shay go up there, we're going to look like uh, Eddie Murphy and Martin at the end of life by the time we get there. Where are we going? To uh, <laughs> Trappist. Oh, to trap. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The space of it into the depth of it. Y'all just going. I could, I could go though. I kind of want to go to Mars, but I'm scared. I don't want to see a Mars. And I Mars Mars used to be Earth. Yeah, I think that's why they're upset. But that's why I think they also because no other planet has like a group of people or aliens named after but Mars. I was like, but Martians. I was like, no, y'all niggas, like them niggas is there. I think whatever they whatever they found out in Area Fifty One. Is the reason why they keep going to Mars? Yeah, they're, they're probably just like Independence Day. Like they got the main source here. Like they got the mother, whatever here. Queen Mother is in Area yeah. Fifty One, and she's like, "Go see my children. Make sure they straight, and I'm gonna break you off on little pieces as long as you make sure they straight." But like, some happens to me. She giving them straight. alien pussy? No, I didn't say that. Like, I'm just not oh. gonna. Like, I'm not gonna like. Oh, I'm like, sorry. Is, is that in the box? Here. I don't know. They speak is that like in the box, Shay? they speak like Mariah Carey. Okay. Nope. Like, I'm gonna make sure. Here. But like, I feel like they got Queen Mother, and she's like, "Y'all don't fuck with my kids. I'm not gonna she, do that to this planet." She but if y'all keep alien. playing with it. It's gonna be curtains for y'all. So they're like, "All right, should I go do my missions? Go take see it since y'all got these nice resources. Take it up to them." Like I don't because it don't make sense. It's only Mars, only Mars, mm-hmm. only Mars. So there's another. This is the it's Earth three. It's called oh. Kepler six nine C. Yo, take me over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's where I heard of. That's, the, that's the furthest one away. That's like 2,400 light years away. But they said it's bigger than Earth 2. Same shit. It tilts like we tilt so we can get the seasons and all that good shit. So there's fucking trees and birds and all that shit up there. So you would go? You got you damn go. right. I'll be right there. What if that's where the Garden of Eden is on another planet? Because I was looking at that, too. I'm just like, I just, the, I, just, that... I just finished reading the book of Enoch, so now I'm like, yeah, because he was talking about space. He was talking about heavens and earth and the corners, and I was like, yeah, nigga, you was in space. Mm-hmm. You know? oh, oh, you but I'm like, look. I wonder if that's the Garden of Eden is over there. Uh, you lit a, you lit a like, fire. Look at Shay Faye. Because like, I'm thinking, like, what if God really flooded the earth, and like, but like he really sent Noah off somewhere, and Noah called it an ark, but it was a spaceship, and like, now we here, and now you brought because how because you brought these two ah. animals, and now we got new animals, and I'm like, no niggas, these animals, because like, what's the oldest animal? Is it a shark or something? I was like, no, you brought them shits from somewhere else and, yeah. and brought them here. Ain't Remember, no uh, way that they survived out of nowhere here. Like you mm-hmm. kept like you made sure they were good and made sure that you probably could like breed them. Is Jamaican say you, you breed them and then bring them somewhere else? So yeah, I think I think no, I think they really did flood like the earth. Like that rainbow shit is cute. God promised. No, that's just science. I know that. But I think I think he flooded the Earth, and then we got new Earth here. Earth, we got Earth 2.0 technically now. She said the rainbow was cute. Yeah, right. (laughs) (laughs) The rainbow is cute, but like science. I definitely Uh, think we've had a different different Earth for a long time, and Mm -hmm. I definitely think some things got to stay and evolve. Mm -hmm. You know, which would explain a shark. Which would explain why a rooster is in the fucking T Rex family, like you know. Mm-hmm. But 
we literally the same way that we don't know everything that's in space the same way we don't know everything that's in our ocean right you know yeah. but we know more about space than we do about our oceans we don't know no no that's what the scientists said we know no, but more yeah, about I, space I, I cool you know what i'm saying but i don't always you know take it in what do we know about the ocean Besides, only 5%. It, besides it's only like there's some shit down there that has its own light and then just be floating around and shit. Shut up, not the it's, some interesting ass, it's some interesting ass shit down there. I want to go here. This whole hey, city and free. countries down there chilling. I know. <laughs> yes. And that's why I feel like there's been plenty different, you yes. know what I'm saying, Earths. Like, same rock, you know what I mean? But different Earths. It's yeah, it just makes me wonder because I'm just like, why? Because I'm then I'm thinking like, what is it? Is it like the gravity so dense that you just can't get down there? Like everything will just cr- like it'll yeah, crush it, you. Yeah, the pressure. Because you go into yeah. space, there's yeah, no, the there's no. But I'm like, it gotta be the pressure. Much just yeah, like, the pressure. Crush- it, it but then I'm like, what you. are the, what are the animals made of down there though that live? Because they've gone down mm-hmm. far mm-hmm. some enough where like animals are alive and they come up out of the blue. So I'm like, what, like what the hell is really going on? Yeah, and you see like, some of them shits are like washing up they on look shore now. They look like dinosaurs. Some of them shits are washing up on shore now, and people don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, it's, that's unexplainable. But mm-hmm. it's, yeah, space is on a whole nother. Listen, I don't want to go to the bottom of the ocean because nah. I don't want to. I feel like they're going to ruin it. Once they get there, it's going to be ruined. Well, but you know, to me and Shay ancestors, you know, our, our country's down there, so, you know. Oh, y'all are um, Poseidon's family or Atlant- Atlanteans? I feel like that though sometimes because I went to the Atlantic Ocean one time. I think I was in Daytona Beach in Florida. And I swear to God, that motherfucker was calling me. Mm-hmm. I cannot <laughs> swim. Okay. But I was mesmerized. You say that so much. By this ocean. I came and I, I, I was just mesmerized by this ocean and I kept like walking towards like she was just speaking to me. You know what I'm saying? I was very, very funny connected. Weird, odd, I know. Yeah. Find your past life. Probably something in your past life, because I'm drawn to the ocean. Like, I can't live inland. I know that. Like, I just, I'm no good. Because when I get to, like, when I get to the water, like, specifically ocean water, like, like, the shit is all calm. Everything shuts down. Mm -hmm. Like, I find, like, peace of mind. Like, I'd be like, all right, I'm good. This all I needed was, like, see the ocean, smell the air. I can, like, I got clarity now. But then something about that, like, I just need to be, like, yeah, I don't know. I was like, something in my past, like, I don't know if I was a mermaid, a pirate, a captain, but like, something is in there yeah. that me in the water be like, yeah, like, I'll sit I in the that water. Yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't know. I go, go a little further than that. I feel like, yeah, I feel I'll, like I'll, I'll sit in the water. In like, I'm, I'm in, you know, immersed in the water. Like, I mean, I don't get it if it's warm enough. I'll die. No, 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 no. I don't care if it's warm, cold. It, it's, the water just does something to me. Like I it's love healing. the water. Like I love it. Like I don't give a like I'll just keep like one time I was in Miami and you know when the tide you know goes out, you can walk forever. Yeah. So I'm just walking, forgetting where the fuck I was. I turn around and I can barely see the fucking beach. I'm like mm, you better get back for the tide rolling. <laughs> but like, yeah, be like that. You'd be like Oh wow, and you know, and then it's crazy because you never know when it drops off. Sometimes right, like exactly. when the water is dark, so like there's drop offs at this beach. Like I was kidding, and they're like in different places. So like you can go so far on one side of the beach, and then it drops. But then one part like is real close, and then it just drops. And it's like you can't tell. And it's so interesting. So I'm like not like there's never any animals. Like we only have shark sightings here, but there's just there's so much like mystery to it. And the waters like we have clear water beaches, but not like there's not in abundance. But the ones that, that used are to be dark, a mountain, that's why they just. Yeah, I wonder if that or like a volcano or like a sinkhole of some sort mm-hmm. that opened up and filled up. Because we have the second deepest harbor in the world. It doesn't freeze. It mm-hmm. never has. I don't think it ever will. And the ocean is connected to that. But I was just like, I wonder like what's what was down there or what was there for it to be like that. Like did it go Pangea? I guess yeah, probably just Pangea. And just as it shifted, parts of it dropped and some of it came up. Yep. That is I if I go yep. get, I'm gonna I'm a be a touch of Morocco. It's gonna be a 20 minute drive. So I'm like, <laughs> I, want, I need to get back together. Damn you, tectonic plates. Okay. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. That, that's still unexplainable to me too. Yeah, a lot of a lot of shit is unexplainable. Um, 
even it's the cool. earth though like do y'all earth think it's just global weird. warming because like so i was talking to my brother and he was Come just on. like he was like do you think it's global warming he goes because the earth goes through an ice age every thirteen thousand years it goes and it melts and then it ices over again he's like so do you think it's global warming or it's just the earth finishing off melting before it hits another ice age and i was like I felt like that that TikTok where like it and they said, you yeah. know, I was just sitting here like, oh no. Is that it? I, is like uh, we fucked up the planet. I know that. But I'm so, like, is it supposed to be getting this warm because we go into the ice age like three thousand years from now or something? I believe the earth definitely resets itself. I don't yes. know. You know what I mean? Like so yes. Yeah, I don't I don't me personally I don't think it's global warming because it's been the same hot since I was little, you know what I mean? Like, you know, some people are like, oh, it's hotter than no, no, it's been the same hot. Like, I hate when people go outside, like, damn, why is it so hot outside? Like, it's, it's July. Right, no, yeah, you're just more bothered, you're old, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it, it just bothers you more. So, yeah, I think it just resets itself, and one of these days it's gonna reset again. Um, we just got a lot more shit on it now than it ever did before, so mm-hmm. we're fucking it up a little bit, but we're, we're expediting the process, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, yeah, it's gonna reset. <laughs> it's gonna fucking reset. Agreed. So, you think we're the worst? No, I I, no, 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 no. We're not the worst. We're just no. the product. They I'm was, not gonna. We're product. Was, see, I can't say it's in the box, but people were doing that. Okay, so it can't be that damn bad. All right. I think like I think between 1850 and like 1920, we really started fucking it up, and then like it just grew exponentially from there. Because I think we were good during slavery. There. I didn't say it was niggas' fault. I'm just no, saying. No, as no, a, that's uh, the time frame you say. You well, mean. yeah, but like, please <laughs> start before, but like, I think we did it because if you look at just all the stuff they say contributes to global warming or like the like um, what are, like the eroding of the earth, like a lot of it grew exponentially, like as far as like oil, crude oil, and all that stuff. Like it was fine, and then it just took off, and like population was good and smooth, and it just took off. So I'm like, and the rate that they're building things, like I think now, like on top of the earth, I think it just. Like, everything is, like, as fast as you can, fast as you can. And before it was, like, you know, steady as long as they went to the race. Now it's just, I don't know. I think the aliens stopped fucking with us. That's what they, I think. They saw some the shit. They, they took Queen Mother, and it's like, you know what? Until y'all bring her ass back, we ain't fucking with y'all no yeah, more. she's like, calm down there. Like, we not. And now the children's grown. Her children are grown. The princes are grown. There's, like, no, fuck that. Mm-hmm. It's now. It's game time. <laughs> but, yeah, definitely. Around the turn of the century, around that time, they start building cars. So that definitely expedited the process. Of, you know, fucking fumes and shit going in the air. Um, well, industrial age, yeah. You know. Yeah, you know what I mean. Then they had, they went from you know the steam locomotive. You know what I mean. They all that shit. That all that shit. Well, I think you. niggas was doing that already a long fucking time ago. Of course, niggas was doing it. Think five thousand years ago, Meg- that niggas were doing that shit. Megan talking think about five niggas five ain't did it. I'm just saying, niggas done did it. Niggas been doing it. That's why can't nobody explain these pyramids or why these pyramids is found on different fucking planets either. Okay, no, I think like, the pyramids, the, the, the aliens helped the Egyptians because ain't no slaves that strong, period. That's I think that's the narrative they really trying to sell. We used to be that strong. I'm saying, because no, be no if, the, if the giant, like, See, if the giant that's how you know you're not yet, an Atlantean. Giants, that's how you know you're not an Atlantean. No, I'm not, I'm not from underwater. No, I know that. <laughs> I think my past life. We had our powers, you know what I'm saying? But I think, like, when the giants roam the earth and, like, the children of the angels and men, yeah, I think, but they weren't, like, regular-sized people, like, they try to make it seem in the stories. Like, mm. I think that's part of a whole narrative that they're trying to put together, like, they did that. So, so you the, think everybody's, like, like Goliath size? There's just a, a bunch of Goliaths walking around? They measured Goliath by stones. He was, like, five stones height. I don't know what that is. That don't, that could yeah. be, bold. that could be, like, now, I don't know what boulder is. That's why we have Google. Like, no, because no. who, who made who wrote it in Google? I don't see. I can't trust a lot of these sources, like, because I'm like, I need to see the original text in glass. I need to see what that says. <laughs> I need to see them. Yeah, like, they, they don't allow people to see shit like that. Well, that's because they fucking with it and changing it. Uh, that's what I think. Because I'm like, the, I guess I finished reading the book of Enoch. I want. I'm ready. I'm gonna read the oh, book of Judas, and I need to read yeah. the book of Mary. Because like, what's really going on? What are the secrets? Were y'all like fucking? Things up like Shay said back then, and using locomotives to get Jesus around town instead of him walking the four days and miles like y'all said he was. What if Jesus had a so hover? Jesus, so Jesus had a car. That's what we're saying. Yeah, I feel like he had a bike. I'm gonna say a bike. Bikes are pretty basic. You got a bike. 
If they had if they had carts and oxen, you could make a bike. So I'm be like, you know and what? You could have had a bike if you went all the way to India to study. I told you that was a little. That's a bop. That's not. That's a. That's a. That's a food, cool you can't walk. even. Food don't last forty. It was a twenty day walk. Food don't last that long. Outside of fridge, like there's. No, you he can't went to the niggas' houses. Well, I, I mean, if it is, if oh my god, he dies. Uh, don't think yeah, like he could go know. twenty days without some fucking. Food. If he had already well, went out. I mean, if he had water, yeah, food you don't need. But like. I don't know. Hey, there was, it's not like you're going to see a neighbor every like every mile, like you would now. So I'm just like, did he? Were there sandstorm? He had a bike. I'm just going to go get a bike. That's I like that version. He had a bike. Oh, yeah, Jesus had a bike. Jesus you not have a bike. He had a bike. Jesus had family, too. It's fine. If you can accept he had a family. Tear an apple, a bike. Shit. Yeah, you know, he might even have a dragon like Game of Thrones. He was like, listen, we got to go. Come at night yeah. so they can't see you. Let's get it. Come at night so they can see you. Maybe Queen Mother is the dragon. That's what they got oh, snacks. Oh, shit. Okay. They got dragons. So, <laughs> Go- Goliath was four cubits in a span. And in modern day time, <laughs> he is 6'9". He's the same height as LeBron James. God, they Goliath. That's it. <laughs> Yo. Goliath. So, and, Goliath. And, how, and how little was David? Like, 4'2"? Like, yeah, it was like, he was yeah, like 4'2", like, some little shit little. like that. Yeah, there was little niggas back then. And got lucky. <laughs> so then, so then, so and David was a giant. You know, that can't be no, no, someone that big is not building the pyramids. Uh, you could take the whole USA basketball team, football team, they still not building the pyramids. So they had to have been like, like I said, the children of angels and men or like supreme giants, like Jack and the John Beanstalk giant. Because like, otherwise, <laughs> it don't make no sense. It got to be Jack. Okay, hold on. See, one says he's six cubits, which will make him nine feet. And the other one says he's four, which will make him six feet. Make See? all religion of This is so much math. I don't like that. Yeah. So, okay, so the Dead Sea Scrolls said that he's nine feet tall. Mm-hmm. The Bible that we read says he's six nine. I don't like that. See how they changed that? Mm. Yeah. And that's like David was regular. David ain't regular. That's so that's just height. So they said Goliath was LeBron size just to be freestyling. What else did they change? <laughs> I think I don't think that Mary was um, a virgin when she was pregnant. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that was real. I think yeah, was I don't real. That, that yeah, I don't I think Mary was a virgin. I don't <laughs> I don't, I don't, well, I shouldn't say that. I don't think it was immaculate conception. He's not gonna say that. I think they're like, Ayo Joseph, like, I know you, I know I said don't lie, but like, you gotta lie. So just lie. I, I, I think Mary <laughs> and Joseph, that was, that was Joseph's baby, and he was touched to be the one. That's what I believe. I believe they, they put the spirit, they had it on, they had it on they, him, they, they put, put the spirit of Jesus in the little baby mm. to be who he had to be. Yeah, she so she ate all the right things, ate all them right hemp seeds back in the day, and her baby was just that was the one. I'm just saying, because he didn't realize who he really was to about eight or nine. That's when the shit started clicking to him. So I'm thinking he was just boom, like yeah, my man. Yeah, because I think if you like, if you had if if Jesus is the son of God, like why couldn't you just have other kids then? Like why you just why you just pick the one? If it was immaculate conception, I'm like it's see. See, some people go too far and be like, is that rape? We're not going to go there today because I don't have time. I need them to stop. But hey, yo. I was like, could I wonder like if were there others besides Jesus, but none of them ever like tapped into the potential. And Jesus was when they're like, no, we're going to go with him. Mm. So I'm just like. Yep. Potential. Tapping into potential. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we use just a, less, uh, a lesser percentage of our brain than we did before. Yep. Yeah. That too. Oh yeah, we we're 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 definitely dumbing down compared to how it used to be. So I definitely want the yeah. drugs from that movie. What was it, Lucy? I definitely want them. I want to see like, am I gonna reach dolphin oh, status? Oh, am I gonna yeah. Care, like, yeah. What? I yeah, I can't have neither one of y'all taking those drugs. <laughs> Why do we get the little blue beads? It's no, probably, it's gonna be the same as my ADD medication, but on ten. Let's go. I Let's want three, go. please. I take three. Just three. Yeah, and I will see y'all in three years. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like yeah. I'm gonna do my ten year plan in three months. I'll be back. Swallows, I'm off. Let, let me hold a dollar. That's all I say. Let me hold a dollar. Um, but 
Um, so this nigga Tyrone. Um, I think we could time travel. I think we not time. I think we could teleport to those planets. I think that's how they know that for sure. I, 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 I think I think we do. Yeah, I think I they know you told me that that the air and that the air is sweet, it's smelling right, all that. Sh- mm-hmm. You don't know that unless you've been there, uh, cause you can't, because you can't you can also know your ass expected me to believe it. Right. So y'all it's, been there. The Chinese people, I think it really was them. I think they were like, we got the tech, we cool with the aliens, we ain't bothering them. They that's said, why they, they, that's why they don't let us over there. That's why they keep us out of that place. That's the agreement. They got that NDA. Yeah. Oh lord. Uh, <laughs> but right. yeah, so you know. You know, me and Shay talked about this. Like, we have, you know, dreams of being places we've never seen or even, you know, heard of before. Like, it's totally different places. That's truly a teleportation. Like, you're really, you outside your body, somewhere else, teleportation. So, yeah, we definitely have the power. We just, in present mind, we can't tap into it. Mm. I don't know. I had deja vu when I said. Oh, I'm down sorry. Un- un- it's very un- weird. Un- unless you partake in, in, you know, certain things, you can probably get there quicker. Peyote, but... peyote, peyote. Yeah, yeah, peyote. That's yeah. my people stuff. I feel like I can do that. That's so. like in my. That's part of my people. I can. I'm trying to secure that. I really want to try it. Okay, you gonna bring peyote to this to the states? No, I won't be allowed anywhere if I bring drugs <laughs> over the mountains. <laughs> peyote oh, is that's... peyote from the earth. What are you talking about? Yeah, but you people like to demonize that stuff. Cause it's not there. What is that? What is peyote? <laughs> it's, like a, it's, not, it's like a herb almost. Yeah, it, it it takes you to it takes it takes you there. So it no, it opens up your mind. Don't let him scare you. It just opens sure, up. sure it does. It opens up. So, so does LSD. LSD. No, LSD. you need to be in a, yeah, an emo- you need to be in a good emotional space if you're going to take LSD. If not, it's, it's going to be mess. Peyote's like shrooms, like older brother that be whooping everybody ass for talking about them. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's like less. Um, I don't think it's as hard as like on your stomach though, or your body. Yeah, and you won't have you. It, it's rare to have a bad trip on peyote. So, so y'all had it before? No, not yet. I, I've yeah. known somebody that has. Okay. And they felt they they and they felt like they left here. You could probably get it at Burning Man if y'all ever go. I don't think I could do that. You gotta be invited to Burning Man. I still don't think I would go. I mean, I need a shower. I tried DMT. Yeah. Or yeah, some DMT or some shrooms. I try that. Okay. What is DMT? <laughs> it's a drug. I was like, I'll talk to you. It's fine. <laughs> it's just a drug. <laughs> it takes you to yeah. the happy place. That's all. It takes you to the happy place. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so would you live on Earth too, or just visit Earth too? Both of y'all. Like I know we all say Earth is ghetto, but can you really imagine yourself being somewhere else? I'm like yo, I would. You, you would live there. To, like kind of colonize it a bit. Like I want to be like, yeah, bitches. Like it's my turn now. Like it's this is for us. If you don't look like this, you look like this. You can't come. You look like this or varying shades. That's, that's that's the same color. I don't, I, every time you do that, it's the same color. You always say that, and it's so <laughs> ignorant. It's not the same color. Yeah, we don't call it the land of megalodon. I'm gonna have a country or oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I think I would like the vacation there, like the way Bezos is doing with whatever the space yeah. is Mars. But then, yeah, like, what I'm, are they doing yeah, space? I'm not coming back. This is mine now. I'm a, I'm a little Uzi Vert. This is my planet now. You need a passport. Uh, you can't yeah, come. It's kind of cool that he bought a planet. It's not I cool. That's like, but cool. how? Why it's not cool? Who well, first of all, who sold it to you? That's what I'm saying. Who owns it? How do you own it? How do you own it? And how you own the planet? And then, nope. okay, so you claim that you own this planet, right? XR, whatever the fuck number it is. Yeah. Hey, UFO, bring me ass over here. And I'll be like, yup, that's the one that said he owned y'all. He rat yeah. your man up. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? You can't say Yeah, because how you buy a planet? planet? It's because, like, that's like, like, we could buy one. Planet. Planet. Okay. Um, Owns Earth. Twenty hours ago, mm-hmm. experts debunked the planet purchase. He did not buy a planet. I know he didn't because you fucking can't. <laughs> yeah. I said, I, said, I said who brokered it? Who bought it? Is there a certificate? How? Where? No. So he for clout, he just buying planets. 
Well, he put the diamond. Might as well had name star. Like, yeah, and that's a scam too, like best friend said. Like, okay. So, but people buy like endangered animals. People buy, you know, they buy highways, you know, get their names on it. Yeah, you know. Highways. Yeah, like if you go anywhere, yeah, you like this. It's like yeah. buying a wing of a hospital. That's not like, every day. Yeah, people, like you are. You do that though. Yeah, you adopted this highway. You know what I mean? Like, this is your highway. Like you know what I mean? So. Adopted, but that means something different in Canada. That means you decided to clean up that portion of the highway, not that you own it. So like adopted don't mean like. Yeah, that was like adopted. Was Nick, like, I ain't never seen Donald Trump on the, the part of the highway in New York that says it's adopted by Donald Trump. No. He never cleaned that part of the highway up. Ours are like group group organized. Like we have a veterans highway. Like, but we yeah. don't have like it's not specific people. It's just no, no, like, no, no. Like so, veterans highway, right? Mm-hmm. So like maybe a quarter of a mile of a mile of it, you'll see a sign right there saying this highway was adopted by. I'm gonna look next time. Like like uh. Joe and Claire, you know, Osborne. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So They'll have that. Yeah, yeah, it'll be wild. And then then right the next one be like, this was adopted by Chick-fil-A. And then it'd be like a regular nigga. Oh, I'm thinking of like the big sign that got the exit. Like you're now on so like oh, not no, 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 102. No, no, no. You no, on no. me begging. No, you gotta be a real nigga. You gotta be a real nigga for that. Oh, that was just like I was like, people ain't bar how he's like that, but if it's that way, then okay, yes, they have. Okay. I think they're gonna try to buy. I think they're gonna try to make it so you can buy planets, cause like what else are them people playing with doing? Like trying to get there. I mean, I feel like you can't. Like they gotta die. Okay. Like, the collective we'll gotta get them out of here, cause you can't. Do so, that. so <laughs> we saw the two million, the billionaires going to space, right? Mm. They tested it first, so of course they're gonna make money off it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a ride soon. Like you give me five thousand dollars. You want to play with your insides like that? That's what I'm saying. So I'm I'm asking like, if your people like yo, let's get together, put some money up, go to the earth, go out of space real quick. Y'all going? That ain't covered in my life insurance policy. Nope, not until it's covered in my policy. Why I be doing that? But that's why they went first. They went first, so y'all it can show y'all that I don't it's know safe. If they really went. Personally, oh, the, the dude from Virgin, he he don't lie. Whatever he say he does, he don't fucking lie. What's the man? Yeah. The what's his name? The Robert Ronald Reggie? Yeah, like, Russell. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Virgin, yeah. Yeah. yeah whatever he say he does, he does. Like Jeff okay. Bezos, okay. he might lie, but that yeah. other nigga. All right. So okay. <laughs> yeah, he got proof. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Virgin, he got like he got the camera right here. He talking mm-hmm. the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Okay, he, yes. Yeah. They let him know like where he was going. Yo, he's so long, cool, man. You know, no man, hang out with me. Can I ride yo, on your please. Oh. This, this, yo, please. Yeah. I just want I just want to touch his shirt. <laughs> I'll touch the hem of his garment. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Like, no, like so when he first started out, right? He bought an island. It was wasn't shit on the island, right? He literally said he signed Mariah Carey, Janet Jackson, and a couple other people. He said when they sold 20 million, he added shit to the island. So every time they sold 20 million, he added shit to the island. And then he has a he literally has a bathroom <laughs> that faces the water. Ooh. No window, no nothing. He's outside shitting. Yeah. But wait, it's <laughs> plumbing. See that yeah, that's what I need. See, yeah, that. <laughs> that. That but, is, yo, yeah. You know, bruh, I will be there constantly. <laughs> like, so you wouldn't have to ask me. You wouldn't have to ask where I'm at. I'm in the bathroom just looking at the ocean. Shit. Yeah, I'm in the bathroom <laughs> on the rocket. I'm going to be laying on the floor on that good ceramic. Like, it's so pretty. Just look. So you're not going to go on the space? Not yet. I but you'll go I to mean, another planet, but you won't just, just be out there just chilling. We out here. No, because yeah. at least on the planet, there's some gravity. Like, there's, like I can like I can ground myself. The but space you can say like, we outside for real. Like, you really going to be outside if you up there. No, that's like, going to be up here. We're going to be stuck. <laughs> yeah, you could be up stuck. You could be, like, up to a, stuck. <laughs> a black hole. Because a black hole is what really scares me. Like, because, like, they, you don't know where they're at. It's like, like a black hole. It's a Minecraft time. or that, that game on your computer, whatever mm-hmm. it is. It, you don't know where it's at. Battlefield, just hit the wrong. You go left and look, gone. You just... Yo. No, I gotta be on the planet. I I'm can't. a ghost still. I'm still See? If so I end up getting particleized by a black hole, then that's just what it is. Fuck it, right? I feel like you don't get particleized though. It's like so, hell. Like you just there, but now you just alive. Yeah, so that's my theory. So in a black hole, right? Uh-uh. What? It sucks you in. 
uh-huh. takes you somewhere else. Uh huh. So they're like, and, I don't care. So don't like, care. yo, like you go <laughs> up there, care. right? Yeah. And you, you go to Earth three. Mm-hmm. We here, yeah. nigga. Like, like if it was a super fast like slip and slide, okay. And well, I got to go go in in one piece. You think you gonna you gonna? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm gonna land. It's gonna be the same when you end up where you end up because I'm if you get and then you get put back together somehow, how do you know? You know what I'm saying? That this black hole knows all the pieces to your puzzle. You I'm gonna try to manifest like the bad, bad, bad bitch version of me and be like, I'm gonna come out like this. You see this? You know what I mean? And just... I'm, coming out, I'm coming out swole, nigga. Like, yo, nigga. I mean, you might come out somebody brand, brand, brand new. Yeah. Uh, yeah what if I come out like a goddess? Just like Bruh. leg shaving forever and like a little piece of string around my waist and like a bikini top. I'm coming out like Bing Rains. It's possible. You. I definitely think it's possible. I definitely think, especially well, like the next know. version of yourself. Maybe yeah, that'd be, that'd be your evolution. Might evolve. But who gonna see me? The people that's there. <laughs> now, what? Now, if you go there, right, and you see the evolved version of your ex. So. What and they, they different. You better have a new they, mentality, they, a new everything, new dick, they can new do morals. That's fine. They can. They can be different. Because oh. the ex now, you knew. We knew. I'm new. No. I'm scared to uh, meet somebody else's ex, not mine. <laughs> hey, what if yeah. Earth? Yeah. What if Earth? What, I mean, what if Earth three is like heaven? I don't know. I don't know. Earth three is heaven. Like, what if that's where you go? Mm. You know what it, what it is to you, honestly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm. I need them to get it closer. I need them to bring it closer. And they they working it's too on too far. It's too far. I know if you keep saying that, but I don't you believe? Like all this technology, the way it's growing, I was like, no, they gonna figure something out. I don't know. We are not gonna be here when it happens. Or I think they might build, or they might just build a planet. Like you think they're gonna do like the rise to space for fun? I think they might build like a, a planet, but it's just like an amusement park. Like in theory, they'd be like, oh, we're gonna go to that's the point of Mars for like. They're gonna do Mars like that. Mars is gonna be the whole amusement park. I can see that. I could. It's gonna be a timeshare amusement park. You don't think park. they're gonna try to like live there, live there? You don't. You think it's gonna be like entertainment or like pleasure? I think it's, people are gonna do it just to you know for clout. Like yo, I'm in Mars. Young niggas still on Earth. It's gonna be a rap song. To evolve though, to go to another planet. I really. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like I've been on a bunch of different planets because I've lived many different lives. Yeah. I think my my spirit, my soul, my energy has come to Earth and adapted with the elements and whatnot. And when I get down here, I go somewhere else. I think there's secrets. Oh, there's plenty of secrets. All I this think, energy out here. Yeah, I think crazy. that's why they. Yeah, because it doesn't they're die. They're looking for something on Mars. They're definitely looking for something on Mars. I think there's some secrets in the ocean. Niggas just can't get that deep. Um. I think yeah, you think it's like its own um its own like safety mechanism. Like as far mm-hmm. as the, the I don't it's not gravity, what's it called? The what is the density or whatever that like just breaks things yeah. down. They I whoever like, set this up put booby traps in place so you can't find what you need to find. And I I fucking love it. That's why you can't go too deep in the Amazon rainforest because oh, yeah. niggas you will die. The motherfuckers yeah. there's some shit well, in there that will like kill you. Cave systems though throughout the world as well. And I think yeah. that's like I think those people still live in those caves and that's why we don't see them. And that's all. why and you talking about you going to the dark side of a planet and there's niggas in the cave. Fuck no. Because well, I don't want to be in the cave. I can't control that. Now what if you see somebody whose eyes is glowing for no fucking reason? That and that's their, their adaptation so they can see in the dark. I'm gonna be like, we just in the dark. I'm gonna just be like, oh, it's okay. They just, they, they dark skin. I like that. It's you just going. So you gonna have, a, you gonna have a whole glowing eye, baby. That's what you telling me. Mary had Jesus. Wait, why, 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 why my baby can't be touched too by the cave people and got <laughs> the glowing eyes, the glowing blue eyes or something? Yeah, y'all, y'all will be sick if my baby has glowing eyes. Okay. <laughs> he he really gonna be light skin. That's gonna be a really that's gonna be the real light skin. I'll be sick. No, I have a light skin. Can I might cry a little bit? It's possible because black women get burnt. Like it really don't matter what color you are as a black person. You got that one person in your family, three people, three generations back. They gonna show up. So maybe I don't know. But I let me have my glowing eye baby. With the yeah, baby. go have your glowing eye baby. I ain't I ain't with it. You won't have the Atlantis baby. What if you have a mermaid baby? You goddamn right. So why can't I have glowing? 
still do. I think we. I think they. As long as they still, they keep. They just stop kind of fucking with Earth. Because I think like I don't think we've explored all those cave systems. Like why? Why is that company hiding all that them documents and like mm. the Grand Canyon? Or no, in um in the behind the behind the, who the niggas faces? What is that called? The what? We don't care about that here. Where the niggas faces in the rock? What is that? What? Rock, what? What? Mount Rushmore. Yes. They got like a safe thing behind the there. niggas in the niggas rock. faces and the rock. I was like, what what niggas niggas first of all, there, first of all, there are no niggas on that there rock. Is no niggas on that white rock. That's niggas. what I call white people white niggas. The close, the closest nigga on that rock is. That's a whole nother story. We, we we can get in that on the colorism yes, episode. His baby mama is a okay because we yeah have man yeah his baby mama. <laughs> right. I like more than one baby mama. Yeah, he, 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 I mean he slipped in both, some. Of course. He's slipped in some color, you know. I don't yeah. mean he there's is like color. a bunch of caves in there too, because like even like the well that like the Mount Rushmore and then like the Grand Canyon, those were some caves that just hollowed out and eroded over time too. So like we usually need to do more exploring on Earth, but like don't fuck it up, just like look. Just so like, except for Earth two and Earth three, they said that the way they explain all the other ones is either they're rocky or they have like hella gas. And you can't just live there. Like they're really just guessing at this point. According to <laughs> uh niggas who found it. It feels like a like me it's like even meteorologist vibes. Like you could have a job as someone who discovers planets and like does the weather, and you could be wrong and it don't matter. Right. If so, you still have a job tomorrow. <laughs> there's a planet called Ross 128 B that's eleven light years away. And it wasn't even founded by a nigga named Ross. His name was Xavier. Um, oh, I was about to say is that, is that it? <laughs> so it's saying that it's the same size as Earth. It's rocky as hell. And that's it. But there's it, rocky places here that we've developed as people. So absolutely. like mm, So what resources are on there though? That's why that, I think that's what they're going after is resources. So like what so I just want to go to the Kepler uh the, telescope. The Kepler C one. The, the no, no, I want to see. I want the Kepler telescope. I just want to go there and just look at some shit. Can you I go? Want, I want to see. I, I don't know if we're allowed to, to go up there. You know what I mean? You might see some shit we ain't supposed to see. But, uh. They probably need that. They're going to zap you. Yeah, because now you know that. They're going to they gonna men and black me. <laughs> yeah, if they put that in the movies, they can already do it. That's my theory in life. If it was in a movie, they've been doing it. So, like, yeah, they're going to zap you. <laughs> So I'm waiting on the aliens. Mm-hmm. They are just awakening. They might be in the grounds now too. I'm like, yeah. hey y'all. Maybe they possess the animals. I don't know, and that's why some people be like, oh, the animals is talking to me or whatever else. Like, I don't know. So it's ran by NASA. So I don't see why we couldn't do it. I don't trust NASA. I don't either. But if mm-hmm. they're running it, that means there should be like a a tour that we can at least see the shit. That's How do you think people get involved in that? Because, like, those scientists were eventually regular everyday, like, quote-unquote good people. I'm not saying they're bad people now, but I wonder, like, is it the money? Is it that they're threatened mm-hmm. to the point yeah. where they're like, hey, like, so, be enough? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say nothing. Because I always wonder, like, you know, ex-SEAL uh, members, like, certain Marine, like, I'm just like, do they just, is it really an NDA? Like, or are y'all scared? Do they, like, flash you and erase everything? Do they Did just it, stress you out? They had outside contractors, uh, ball Aerospace and technologies, they're the one that actually built the telescope. It took them uh, quite a few years to do that shit. Yeah, oh, it's actually in space, in space. So the telescope itself is sitting in a location in space so they can look at it from down bottom. So we gotta take a ride. Either yeah. that or either that or be in that big ass uh, room where all the computers and shit that be in all the movies and then you can look at the big ass uh, screen on the wall. <laughs> We gotta be in that room. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, if you wanna, uh, where is where the fuck is NASA? They really bullshit with our technology. That's in Houston, right? This, it's like, Houston, I right? Wanna, they need to do better. Yeah. So we gotta take a ride to Houston. I know. I know how you feel oh, about Houston, Shay. Yeah. I know how you feel about Houston, Shay. But we gotta take a ride to Houston. I will drive the bus there. Let's go. Oh my god, yeah. I would love to go back. I want to go back. So, yo, they bandwidth crazy. I'm being a nerd right now. I'm sorry. I well, Because in my head, I'm just thinking. I'm like, think all, all the good tech. I'm like, why? Yo, yo, there, yo, that oh, Wi-Fi, is serious for that yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, I, I already watched the camera up top with no wires. 
No, that shit is like if you Come know. On, that, how you watch the telescope in space with no wires, but with yeah. the on that bandwidth crazy. Why is why is my Wi-Fi cutting out if we see an exoplanet? That's why our shit cutting out because they using our shit. No, they just need to do better. That's what I believe. Do better. You could do better. I want the good Wi-Fi everywhere. Yeah, they, they, they don't, they don't be, have the line. There is no loading line Wi-Fi. with them. They hit this shit, that motherfucker pop up. Oh, ain't no loading. Yep, ain't no loading for them niggas. That's like yeah, we yeah. definitely um teleport. Oh shit, no, either way, you're not. They have a K two mission as well, so they built another telescope. That's that 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 about two years ago. So what are they saying that they're looking for with that one? Mm-hmm. What y'all think they're looking for? I think they found something specific. I, I, I that think to watch. Yeah, all those spaceships that been popping back. I think there's like, oh shit, we need to start watching out for these niggas. Yeah, I think they do come by and be like, uh, Earth ghetto, and then like yep. going back. But just like all those alien movies where aliens come back and they want to steal Earth's resources and shit like that, like are humans not doing the same thing? Yeah, and I, I think I they on Mars killing all the motherfuckers off. That's what I think they're doing just so they can yeah. colonize that motherfucker. Yeah, because the military be awesome. So I yeah, so just, yeah, like when I was like, no, y'all be on something. Yeah. All that funding, something going down. What do so y'all I, I I believe, like when Donald Trump said. Space Force, like that was already in place. Yeah, he, he just he, he just put the it. name to it. No, 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 no. Yeah. He made it like he invented the shit. I no. think that shit been in I place. I gave him approval to say he could say that. <laughs> I think I think I because I think Barack knew that and he couldn't say that. Yo, they all no, know that because y'all saw when he won. You know the old president has to talk to the new president, right? Yeah. So he was all you know cocky and boisterous and shit. He went in the room with Barack and came out looking fucked up. Like he like he heard something he didn't think he was going to hear. Yeah. Like he was sitting yeah. in front of the camera like I want to know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like so yeah, I was yeah. talking about which yeah, I was I think Barack has to hand him the keys to the button. Yeah, why do you think they age like that? Because you don't yeah. think you know, nobody needs to know. Yeah, <laughs> you got to keep they it They got to give you the keys to the button. <laughs> I think and I think the keys are like this fucking big. You gotta give them the keys to the button um, and some other shit. That's so that whole transfer right there. And oh, I think like he heard code, some shit. Code, yep, code, all that good shit. That. And where the aliens is in Area Fifty One when they're alive. That yep. we found Martian because they're the exactly. ones that got their own name. Why don't we have like uranium in people or like what do you whatever Venusians people on Venus? I don't know. Why don't they have names? Like they, you know why? Because they probably don't have people on them. But Mars, Mars does. Otherwise, why? Why? Yeah. So, yeah, Earth Two is real. There's a I mean, bunch of planets just chilling. This we like a big bag of marbles, just sitting here chilling. Yeah. Oh. This planet could just go dead at any moment. Bro, like, and, and I think once they figure out antimatter, they will. I and think I that's think that's the it. thing, right? Like you know, stars die, it's the thing. Yes. The sun hasn't died. Dying. You know what I'm saying? Like the yes. sun hasn't died. It it yeah. just it, it it feeds off itself. Like if you watch the sun, like they you know the up close shit of it, it feeds off itself. Like it's not going anywhere. So the sun is toxic. It's, exactly. That's exactly what it is. It's, it's a toxic light skin nigga. That's exactly what the sun is. Okay. Nah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like it's just it's just like creating its own fire and still just just burning, right. and not slowing down. It's just, but eventually you gotta burn out. And when that happens, it's gonna be cold as a motherfucker on him. That could just be the ice age that they talk about. Maybe it's just gonna be ice age. Uh oh, uh oh. Something click. Something click. What you thinking, Shay? So if I take the science out this context, right? Yeah. And I put. Not necessarily religion, but you can put religion into it, right? Mm-hmm. So, if God created the earth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's just say he created the whole solar system. Fuck it, right? You know what I'm saying? Us and our not, what we got. And if God is not alone, also correct, right? Mm-hmm. That means that other gods have other controls of 
other solar systems and shit, right? Mm. But sometimes if you look up and you look at an exoplanet, right, and it's supposed to be like dead or it's dark, is that only to the human eye that it look like that? Or, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe to whomever habitates that exo, that's supposed to be exoplanet, like, do we look dead to them? You know what I'm saying? And then, and then. She cooking, she cooking. I'm just, I'm so confused because I know God didn't create the universe on, on, on self because he's not alone. So it just really makes me wonder how many gods there are now. <laughs> That's where I just went. Okay. And exactly. Little mini gods to make up. Maybe he did leave, like, because wasn't there a group of, was it 12 or 24 of, like, God's best angels or something like that? Like, there's a there's a specific group of them because they all have these names. But I wonder, there's this, I wonder if he gave all of them their own solar system. Like, he was like, y'all bother me or, like, since y'all think you can do this, like, here, go ahead be blessed and try it and like he was just like because like they i mean they brought science back like they they haven't science can only go back to the seconds after like the creation of our solar system or the universe they can't it can't pinpoint it because there's they're still, like there's no they're like it had to have been something else but i wonder if like they just gave all his like his or her like people their favorites or like the the board the executive directors like each got their uh-huh. own solar system and they're like all right like do right so like if y'all messing up, we're gonna shut it down. Seven. So. Seven? Seven. Why was it named like twelve niggas? Maybe it wasn't twelve. Because it's another book. Ah. Uh, but it's seven. Seven archangels. Okay. Oh, that's Michael Gabriel and them. Mm-hmm. Michael Gabriel. Michael Gabriel and them. Yeah, <laughs> they just Mikey, what's good? <laughs> I don't I really don't remember that. I just remember Michael and Gabriel for sure. That's that's it. I don't that's, yeah, yeah, that's the first two. That's the important one, see? Yeah, Sunday and Monday. Uh, huh. okay. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, maybe they gave, like, the rest of them, like, I don't know. Or maybe, like, Jesus is like, I don't like you. Like, maybe he got, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he gave, like, the angels, like, when the angels started messing with the humans, he was like, you know, y'all fuck this up. Go, now you got over here because you died, you did too much in this system. Or maybe, like, we're the product. We, like, I got to keep them real separate. So, like, angels is over in their own solar system doing whatever, and he left humans here and left, like, the half in between breeds like somewhere else to figure it out and the giants is still existing somewhere on like the five times size earth or whatever like, I don't the, know. The, the lebron james people <laughs> yeah imagine oh my god there was just a bunch of men like six nine walking around oh, i mean Lord. women too but like calm, it, calm down i'm, calm, I'm, calm I'm down. pretty sure there's calm a down. Planet, i'm pretty sure it's a planet which is all women yeah yeah, yeah. like wonder woman like that i feel like that's a concept but like where you get that concept from mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. No, and she yeah, way back in them old times. There's, there's a yeah. There's a couple of names on here that could be flipped into women's names. So, what? like what? Like uh, you you said Uriel, like U R I E L. That can be flipped. Um, Sellafield, some shit like that. Sellafield, church people, forgive me. <laughs> it's like S E L A P H I E L. You know. It's, it's, it's some shit that could, that could be flipped. So, but yeah, I, so, so the aliens, those are the offsprings of, of the angels? Maybe. Maybe God, was, maybe God was making all kinds of stuff and the Bible was like, nope, that ain't going public. We're going to leave the people version and that's going to be it. Maybe God yeah, was like, a little bit of you. Let me try my hand to see what you going to do. Like, yeah. Because I, I refuse, well, I don't refuse because white men are weird. Um, no, they are. They're, no, they're, I know, but I. Yeah. I, you said oh, yeah. It's, yeah, I'll this, say yeah. It's not. yeah I, I, I have to be this way on this show, okay? I, if I'm not this way, then you know, yeah. my co host is like. A whole lot of, whole lot of. Like, yeah. yeah. So. Honestly. Yeah. So white people, white men, excuse me, because I just found out, I think like a last week or so. <clears throat> that women could open the bank account up until like the seventies. You didn't know that? I did not know that. I, I still people still call me they seventy eight year old women and their dad is on their account, their deceased dad. Yeah. And she was like, Oh dear, so I talked to a woman. I was like, Oh I know. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So yeah, so white men are weird. Um the the 
I, I can't believe that women didn't have any roles. You know, like they didn't do anything back then. Um, yeah, it wasn't until the war, the Second World War, I think. No, no, Vietnam. I think it was wild. Uh, no, no, it was the point is we shouldn't have been fighting, period. But yeah, yeah one of so, the wars, the men on yeah, the one were like, we not sitting why, around waiting, we gonna go to work, and that's when it shifted. I should ask my mom. Like, when did she open her bank account? Like, if she and she tells me when she went to the army, that's gonna be kind of creepy. No, it's a lot of people that didn't have a bank account until they got to the army. That's why we have mm-hmm. USA hey, for those people that don't have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah, she joined the army in '78. So yeah, that, or a regular yeah. army. Uh huh. The women's army or the regular army. Regular army. Okay. Yeah, she was down in Alabama getting uh, cooked in basic training. She probably wouldn't have had an account then by herself if she didn't join the army until like maybe mid eighties. So, so maybe depending on where you lived in the states. So that's probably why she probably married my dad, so she can get a bank account. Yeah, but it's still joint unless he uh, unless he agreed to sign on as like yeah for her account. But most times they were joint. Like he could still. That's crazy. Account. It's still yeah. It wasn't right. It was just real. Yeah, like, white white man. Y'all need to relax, bro. Gonna get okay. divorced unless your husband yeah. was like okay. Yeah. So. I don't know how we got here, but yeah, the Bible's weird. Um, yeah. weird. You can't have, you can't divorce niggas unless they try to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's like, there's no reason to leave your husband, and that's why a lot of you know churchy people stay with their husband even though they're cheating and shit. Um, Let's leave them people alone. This week. Kill you basically, just basically. Yeah, yeah like if, you, if, if, if he hits you, if he hits you, that's like, cause. That's cause to leave if he hits you, but most people don't leave. But yeah. I mean, no, you can, don't you know the rule of thumb? Night, you know? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that, that's another thing. I'm, I'm glad you said that, Megan. Stop saying rule of thumb. I know. I'm not. I don't say that often. But like, yeah, but no, you that's say like it, where though. it came from. Just yeah. do I? Huh? Do you know where it came from? Yeah. Where it you came could from? Be, as you could beat your woman legally as long as it wasn't bigger than your thumb. Yeah, as long as it's stick stick. So long as the circumference is as big as your thumb, you could beat her. Anything bigger than your thumb. Okay. <laughs> they, I know you're sick. It's disgusting. Yeah. That was only outed in like the 20s or 30s, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People were sick, men. Men like men were sick. Like the yeah. laws were sick. Yeah. And not, I, I, like not all men were like that, but like yeah. a lot of them were just like, I guess I'll go along with it. Like sick. Mm-hmm. I, I, I had I had a uh, lesbian friend that that put me onto that. She said, "Don't ever say that again." So. I was like, okie dokie. <laughs> hey, but they gotta say it. Yeah. I, I say something else, country as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Anything well, else you got, Shay? Uh, got anything else? Do I? No. Nah. No. Nah. Okay. Nah. Um, let's see. I think I got one thing. What you got? I'm about to, I'm about to see if I still have a save. Hold on. I just love Trappist. That just sounds so cool. I just want to go there. It gives me like big yeah, and, and the moon is like the moon is called Trappist One. So we just hit we in the trap for real. Like, yeah, I'm, this seems like big trap house, like fun, mm-hmm. and, like vibing, like a little bit drunk, maybe, but like it's good, good music, good food. So, oh, that's it. This is it. Yep. This is so, on a ride cloud. Like since you said earlier that there are exoplanets in the solar system, right? K two eighteen. It's known as Epic. It's a red dwarf, and it's sitting literally in the Leo's constellation. Hmm. And it looks like Earth. I'm looking yeah. at a picture of it right now. It looks just like Earth. It's just not in. It's not in line with the nine. That's it. Mm-hmm. It's that's it. It's not in line with the divine nine. Mm-hmm. That's why they don't talk about it. Mm-hmm. It's a big ass star in front of it or something. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 But it's called Epic. Yep. That's that was the that was the original name for it. But it's K two eighteen. Cause that's how big it is. It's oh. fucking huge. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to yeah. say Epic man. Fuck her. <laughs> and that's the title of the episode, people. <laughs> Earth belonged to us. We're supposed to explore it. You know what I'm saying? I'm I think, yeah. I, like, I gave it to I me. Think, I want to see it. But. 
it's just people. This is just our earth. Like this is the people earth, but I think they're like a vampire earth. I don't Louis think earth, this like, is I don't think this is the people's earth. Well, I, I mean, think... like this is like the earth that people habitate. But I mean like there's a there's a planet that like aliens habitate and like mm-hmm. giants or like what is an alien? Different creatures. What's an alien? I am an alien. <laughs> Technically we're all ter- like anything on the earth is a terrestrial being, but anything extraterrestrial. Yeah. But we're extraterrestrial someone else. Shout out to Kayla. Extraterrestrial. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm an alien I, when I come to America. If I stay too long, so like. Yeah, you are. So I'm gonna rat you out too. Um. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna nah. have you that is cursed. So you can't tell on me. So yeah, like there's people on this planet that you look at them, you like, nigga. You know what I mean? Like. Like men in black. Exactly. So people, I just, feel a little too big and pretty. Like not they're just big, but like maybe big, pretty, and glossy. I'm like, oh, yeah. why do you look like that? Like the, your eyes are mesmerizing. I'm like, what is that? Like it's like, really like, like, it's, like they have nice eyes. Just because like, you're not, attracted to the eyes don't mean they. Because like, you attracted <laughs> to the big, pretty, glossy. <laughs> like maybe just like some people just have like big, almost like dollish cartoon, like not creepy, but like oh, like um, Harajuku eyes. Yeah, but like yeah. Not, like they don't look quite that big, but like. You know what I mean? Like they just have big bright eyes. Let's go to Japan. You see a whole bunch of them. <laughs> oh, they don't really look like that. Didn't you see the videos? They take. Yeah, no, off. they put they they put the tape on their face and all that. But yeah, um, but yeah, this is weird. Not weird. It's un different looking people walking the planet, um, and then also people whose whose brain power is you know way stronger than a normal individual that walks the earth. So you can learn to do that though. People are disciplined enough, I think. Yeah. Uh, you mean like astral planning? Yeah, I'm talking like about I'm, oh. levitation. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you wanted to go there, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to say, <laughs> oh Lord, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I mean like 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 people who have the extreme foresight. You know what I mean? Like like a like a, a Bill Gates or a, a a Nicholas Tesla. You know what I mean? Like they have the extreme foresight to see something that ain't never been here. In our lifetime, you know what I'm saying? Like, who would have thought? Oh, I'm sitting in the dark. I should hit a motherfucking switch, and then the lights will come on. Who thinks like that? You see what I'm saying? Or <laughs> very true. And that's how I got the telephone because my man said I'm tired of yelling and walking ten miles to see my people. So, but yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yo, like I'm here in Maryland, you know, and y'all where y'all at? And oh, I should make a device where I can just pick up and like. Hey, what are y'all doing? You know what I mean? I'm like, glad I don't like get high a lot or really at all. Cause like this stuff trips me up when I'm sober and I'm like, but ha- like how mm-hmm. is this happening? Cause like TV still blows my mind. But like the FaceTime or this, I'm just like, but how? I was like, so am I was like, am I literally time traveling? Like I can see myself here yeah. on the screen and you can see I was like, so I'm time traveling right now. Like yeah, that's especially what like when like. you do streaming and it lags, you like Yeah. Wow. But like a microwave blows my mind. You know what I mean? Like that's an easy explanation. Explain the microwave. Explain it's just fucking radioactive. All it does right, is Right, but they told us as kids you know radioactive funny? fucks you up. My so why are we eating food that's radioactive? It's it's, it's not that the food is radioactive. Like when it's in the microwave, is them waves doing what the fuck they're doing? Hell yeah. But at the same time, like you leave the microwave closed. That's why they tell you not to stand too close to it. But pretty much what that shit does is just fuck with the molecules inside of the food, which heats it up. So sometimes when you take your food out the fucking microwave, you think it's sizzling and shit, you go to bite into it, but it's fucking cold in the middle, yeah. right? <laughs> That's because the signs ain't went all the way fucking through yet. You're supposed uh, to put that bitch in there for 30 more seconds. But if you notice, your mm-hmm. food get colder. Once you take it out the microwave, you put that bitch in the fucking oven. First of all, it's going to taste better. It's going to be crispy, crunchy, like you wanted that piece of raw. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the heat is going to last longer. On you ain't did so, nothing but science so, in the microwave. So you telling me mm-hmm. a sheet of glass is keeping me from rearranging my molecules? No, it's actually not. It's, it's actually yeah, that's it, got, it got the vent. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it don't protect you that much. The vent? next to it, but... The, what the fuck is the vent going to do? The vent like, gets getting out. <laughs> yeah, into my the house. Ener- so I, energy, I, have, I have radioactive waves in my house now because it's venting. No, you have radioactive waves in your cell phone, on your hand, on your like all of exactly. this. If we could, if we could see it, 
we be a mess. We might low-key be aliens, too. Like, we might our DNA might change over, like, centuries because, like, mm-hmm. we should be frying the mm-hmm. amount of, like, electrons and radio waves around us, and we don't. But they said, you know, even um, self-perception of ourselves, if, you, if we really saw how we really looked, we wouldn't recognize ourselves. That's what you said that the other week. Hmm? Like, like our brain doesn't see us as we like as we are. It sees us as what we want to be. That's, that's, that's another that's another book I was reading. Like, the way, like I'm looking at you, like you wouldn't see you the way I'm looking at you. Like, yeah, you know how you like, know how you niggas be lying to y'all, but like, oh my god, you you the best looking person I've ever seen in my fucking life, and you be like, nigga, I'm just regular. It's kind of like that, but for real like you really can't see yourself and yeah, i think you probably that, have to like astral plane you probably gotta really like figure out a step outside your body I, I, yeah I'm, I'm definitely come about my body and see myself i can understand that maybe i'm not gonna see myself from like certain angles but to for my brain to give off a perception with a view and it's not real I, that's what i'm not understanding that's because you, <laughs> you you know i mean you take that next step i think it can happen though your brain, you open your mind up more than most people. But I'm talking about like a regular <laughs> nigga. Like upside down, what you looking at, it looks like your fucking eyeballs was in your eyeballs and makes shit right side up for mm-hmm. you. I don't, I don't see how, not to say it's not true, I'm just trying to understand, I don't see how right. I see myself a certain kind of way. It like... Just, Okay, I, like, I don't think I okay. I ain't think I got no ass, right? But like for somebody, like a dude, like maybe that's tall. You know what I'm saying? To him, he like, God damn, look at his ass. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Sure. But to me, I'm just like, do what? But I'm yeah. just thinking from angles, though. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? No, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I look like from right here, unless I, you know what I'm saying, come about my body and see that. But other than that, I'll just I'll okay. Just so. So how you you, remember, you look at yourself, right? You be in the mirror, you look at yourself, boom, boom, boom. And you take a picture of yourself. And you be mm-hmm. like, ooh, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. That picture is you. Mm-hmm. That's why we have to do angles and all that other shit. But the straight on pictures you take of yourself is your ass. What kind of camera? Oh, Lord have mercy. Don't do that. That's Don't do that. No, I'm, I'm dead ass. What kind of camera is it? Because is it going to give like that oval... You know what I'm saying? Like, look, because so, it may project something on me. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Like, it may be okay. small. Like, say, like, something on my face. Like, maybe it'll make my nose look bigger than what it is. Or maybe it'll, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah, what yeah. kind of camera are you talking about? Uh, you, the camera on your phone. I'm well, saying. Your, 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 your the camera right. on my phone don't do me no fucking justice compared to <laughs> what I see in the mirror. Yeah, no, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm looking in the mirror, and I'll be looking on my phone, and I'll be like, God damn. I mean, look, I'm like, okay, maybe it's the angle. Maybe see, it's and, the, and that's what I'm saying. Like, how you see yourself compared to how you actually look is different. I think I look good. So we all got bodies. Hey, first of all, yet. everybody in the world thinks both of y'all look good. Okay, let's get, let's, let's get that out of the way. But I haven't uh, always thought that, though. I know you haven't. So it can't be the same perception from my brain every time. I think it's body. It doesn't. No, it won't be every time. time. It won't be every time for everybody because... Certain people brain, we work on different vibrations. And you definitely on a different vibration. Still trying it's to make a, sense why I get hollered at more on an off day than I do on a day. Because <laughs> it's, it's the it's real a, you. It's the gift of aliens. That's all. It's the gift from the aliens. All right. Or those could be aliens and they know you. They'd be like, oh, that's my people right there. That's my kind. Let me let me go ahead over there. Maybe because like you'd be like like pretty for real. Like you and they'd be like, oh yeah, no, she's actually fine, not like dolled mm-hmm. up and fine. They'd be like, yeah. That could be it. Cause some people really aren't fine, like with OB. <laughs> some people Yeah, yeah there's some like, there's some niggas walking around here that's like, you can't be looking like this for real. This is this is not there's fair. There's also niggas who chop off their beard and look like that as well, which I don't like that either. But it's another conversation. First of all, shout out to people who can have a beard. And cut it off. I cut my beard off. Right yeah, now. shout out to them because the beard be saving some of you niggas. Yeah, okay. my my beard don't save me. Okay, okay. This, yeah. this this right here. This 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 some shit right here. Okay, I'm letting y'all know. The dude that works said, "Yo, how old are you?" I own a I own a beard. Chase is good. 
Change is the only thing we're guaranteed. Change. I own a beard company. I can't. Ha- I gotta have a beard for you it. You can rub the oil on your body. What? You oh have a body? lord. Okay, but. Right. <laughs> I, yeah. So, but no, but a dude at work was like, "Yo, how old are you?" And I was like, 41. He's like, "Damn, for real?" I said, "No, I'm beautiful, ain't I?" He's like, "Yeah." Yeah, you fucking right. I know yeah. that's right. You know your work. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shit, Yo, shit. Everybody, everybody started laughing. I was like, I'm dead ass. I'm beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I look <laughs> Like, I'm okay. beautiful. He's like, you got it. I ain't, I ain't. Can't argue. It. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's confidence, baby. Yeah. That's confidence. That's that flash. Yeah. That's the flashes I give out to people. <laughs> but, go ahead, Shay. Uh, Nope, not yet. I'm sorry. So sorry. Megan, tell everybody in the world where they can find you at. Please. You can find me um, in Canada if you'd like to come play. They're letting y'all in with your vax and wax come August 16th. Uh, um, otherwise, you can find I'll me take at, shit off. <laughs> you can find me at Megan Better, um, M E G H A N B E T T R, everywhere, everywhere. Um, except on like porn sites. That was not me. I had that shit taken down. But if it comes up again, Report. I, I know your tattoos. If I see it, I know who it is. Yeah. If I, there's no tattoos, it's not me. Mm-hmm. Um, if, it's, if there are, mind your business. Um, you can find me at T H E B E P T E R L I F E pod. And you can find me on Sir Kerrigan's uh, Media Network, Sir Kerrigan's Media Group. You can find me alongside of Pablo, Shay, um, everybody else, Uncle Pooche, best friend, Tris, um, Tia, Tasha, K. Mission Mac, I'm forgetting somebody. All okay. the fingers. Yeah, shout out to the whole yeah. ass. You're going to yeah. say Michael and Gabriel and them, but you're going to say everybody name right there. <laughs> yeah, because I know them. I don't know Michael, Gabriel, and them. I don't know them. Niggas. You need to I know, know I them. I don't know the rest of them. You need to know them. But that's they didn't make despair. movies, including them. They even got that movie with Gabriel coming back. I'm to say Gabriel and, and Michael got a movie. What are you talking I about? Yeah, so yeah, the other ones need movies. Branding. Branding. Oh Lord. Yeah, y'all can find me on the network. This is great. I'll be back for part two if they'll have me with tequila. Oh yeah, yeah, we doing the colorism with the, with the alcohol in our system. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna try. I promise y'all. Yeah. Get ready for that one. And I'm ready to face my reverse colorism ways come next episode. Yeah. Okay. I'm proud. I've right. admitted it. I've admitted that I'm like a reverse colorist, but it's- you are. You definitely are. People, brown skin, dark skin will be fine. Like, light skin people are fine, but like, they're like, I don't know. There she go. Not she yet. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. It's disrespectful, but like, you do. Hold it. We, we definitely gonna discuss it. Mm-hmm. But, um, I'm definitely glad that you was here with us today. It's been real. Uh, I did a lot of research. I couldn't remember names like he did, but I was like, oh No, I, I had my phone. That's only why I Then I was scared. That's I was just to like shows, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have a bad dream tonight. No, I cause did. I thought I was gonna remember the names, and then I started seeing them names. I was like, oh no, mm-mm. I ain't gonna remember them shits. Them she shits are like, yeah, they, yeah, they're like goddamn serial numbers. I ain't, I ain't gonna remember yeah, that shit. Serial numbers, they trying to sell them shit. That's why they all serial numbers. And, and that, so when Uzi said he bought it, and he said K did it, did it, I was like, oh shit, that might be real, cause that that's what the planet sound like. But hey. you don't have the brain power to own a planet, but. Anyhow, yes, again, yeah. thank you, Megan, for coming on. Um, again, shout out to our SNG gang, shout out to the Tequila and Champagne Pods, AP Pablo. Um, definitely find me at Shayleron, S H A E underscore L A R A U N, and tell them where they can find Pods Gift. Man, just type in Pods Gift. Um, my face will pop up. I, I have a beard, I'm probably I have this wrap on. You know. it. I have this wrap on and I have this beard. So put in positive, okay. it pops up. Um, Sarkarrigans on everything. Uh, the website, sarkarrigans.com. Instagram, Sarkarrigans. Fucking Facebook, Sarkarrigans. Like, we, yeah. we're everywhere. Twitter, Sarkarrigans. Okay. Sarkarrigans, everything, bro. Like, yeah. buy the merch, okay? Buy they the have shirt. merch. They just didn't wear it, but buy the merch, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> And they it's have personalized merch at that. So not only buy our caregivers merch, buy Shay's shirt, buy Megan's shirt. Megan got the V the V joint, so you want your, yeah. your little cleavage out. You know what I mean? You be out there looking sexy, Joe. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you know, Shay got she had the, you know the crop on, but he had all the under boobage. So if you want the under boobage out, it's mm. all good. And we got blankets. Come on now. And yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, right. tequila and champagne, please. Wrap yourself in some tequila and champagne. Exactly, and sip on some tequila and champagne while you wrapped up listening to us. So, 
I'm, that's it. I'm just pod skip and start carrying it. I don't have <laughs> Oh, and if it's something that y'all want us to discuss, like definitely let us know. Like for real, for real. Yes, yeah, we don't hide. Pretty smart. So, yeah, very. They're not pretty. Very smart. Are y'all going to do the uh, um, the astrological reading of the things this week? Oh yeah, the uh, signs. Y'all did that one week, and I was like, oh, I like this. We did it two and weeks. Yeah. We're on uh. We're, we're on Taurus now. Oh, yeah. You, fine. We can do you don't want to read I, a Taurus? Yeah, go ahead. I, read the Taurus one off. I read Taurus. I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. So, any questions y'all have for us, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be more than happy to do a third sex show if you want us to. It's fine, right? What does that mean? What do you mean a third sex? Because we done did two sex shows show on sex already. Life. We done did two shows on religion already. So, like, okay. whatever you want to talk about, I don't care. Um, when you say sex show, it just come out. Yeah, I thought you meant like a like a you don't have a new podcast. Oh shit, no, nope, like, oh, no, scratch that. Right we only did one sex show because we had it. Right. Yeah. Okay, because mm-hmm. we ain't gotta fucking talk about it anyway. Yeah, let's exactly. go. Taurus, Taurus, more so for today, motherfucker. You the mm-hmm. missing piece that people need in every situation today. Taurus, engage in light conversation in social situations and turn your charm up high. You have the ability to make favorable impressions on just about everyone. So set the day off on the right foot. Get your motherfucking ass out of bed earlier than usual. Get your blood pumping with a brisk walk around the neighborhood. Connect. There you go, Taurus. Matter, matter of fact, can you do me one more favor? See? What, um, since our guest is here, can you do uh, punk ass Capricorn? I- <laughs> Okay, I, I just okay. hate greatness so much. <laughs> oh, God. They, 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 they confused. They don't know what they don't know what side of the year they want to be on. You know what I mean? They want to be the end I, of the year, beginning of the year. They don't I know what they want to do. Of the year. Okay. Yes. Oh, mm. oh, Capricorn. <laughs> this is an important day to make valuable connections, Capricorn. So listen up, you will be engaged in fast paced, witty conversations and debates from which you can learn a great deal. You are, you are good at seeing both sides of an issue. Now the problem is that this can lead to indecisiveness and an inability to commit. Choose a path and stick to it, biatch. <laughs> there we go, my commitment issues coming up again. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Single life, don't owe me shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I love it.